Hello and welcome to Infinity. I was asked if you could do a mask based on the light spectrum rather than just hue. And so here's a very simple way of doing that. And get yourself a spectrum. You can create one, take it off Google from somewhere or whatever. And then with this one I've got here, I'm going from blue through to red. And I want to make the blues to be darker or lighter. Which end shall I do? Let's say make it lighter, which means I'm going to select for the blues. Then the red end, I'm going to make that to be darker. And otherwise, I'm going to make that to be black. The fading off to into darkness here, you can't quite do that if you wanted to make this whiter still in here. That's the tricky bit, which this doesn't address. However, you can get quite a useful spectrum from this. And you do it by going to adjustments and the black and white here. And so I want to go from white to black here. So the red I bring down to zero. So that goes black. And then just make the just these in between to form a smooth line across here. And if they're not quite what you want, you can always tweak them a little bit, kind of play with the colouring there. So you've got the right amount for you. When you've got this now, I'm going to just make sure I've got this adjusted and control C I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go across to the image I'm going to and control V to paste it. Now then, what I want to do is to turn this into a mask. So I can either right click here and rasterize to mask and use it that way. But what I'll do is I'll go to the channels here, go to any of the composites here, because they're all the same because it's black and white, right click it and say create spare channel. So it's now stored down here where the blues are whiter and the reds are darker. And then I can take this off. I don't need it anymore. I can leave it in case I want to go back and have another tweak of it. But now I'm going to put in any control I like. So let's go to adjustments and go to, let's say, HSL. Now then, I want to adjust, say, you want to turn up the saturation of the blues. If I turn this up now, I'm see this is affecting this in that sort of way. So it's just the this end of the spectrum being affecting it here. I'm going to the spare channel here, right click this and say load to HSL, shift adjust. And now I can turn up the saturation and it's affecting just that end of the spectrum. Could I do it using this? Yes, but it's different. This gives me one way of doing it, how to adjust each of these separately. The other way is using this, but I can also vary it in any way I like. So, for example, I can invert things. So I can invert this one here. So I can go to that and hit Control I to invert it. And because this is the mask that I inverted, now when I change this, I'm adjusting the red end of the spectrum. I could also go down here if I click the spare channel. If you watch that, Control I inverts it. So you can see that I'm then selecting more for the red and a bit more of the green in there. So you get that effect as well. So if I go back up here, I can see what this is. So there you go. That's a way of creating a spectrum, starting from the spectrum here, putting a black and white layer on top of it to make the white at one end and black at the other end. And you could do with a different blend of colors as well. It is based on what can be done with a black and white control, but in this case it works pretty well. Then you drop it onto a picture and convert it to a mask, which then lets you work with just those and you can invert it as well if you want to. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.